Hello everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. Landing at UUDD, my audio panel started flashing and making these weird sounds. I've never experienced this before in my Cessna 172 landing in Canada, so research showed me that it's called a marker beacon. So if we look at our audio panel here, we have these OMI indicators, outer, middle, and inner markers. Similar to NDBs and VOR nav aids, marker beacons are used to tell the pilot that you essentially need to do an altitude check. And it's presented to you through an audio and a visual cue. You hear a different frequency sound as you go over each marker beacon. You also see a different flashing light as you go over each marker beacon. The outer marker is usually placed between four and seven nautical miles from the runway and it's usually the indicator of where you're about to intercept the glide path. The middle marker is placed about 3,500 feet from the runway, and it usually is at the decision height for a normal ILS approach, which is about 200 feet. The inner marker, which are quite rare and not often used at most airports, are placed 1,000 feet from the runway threshold, and it's the decision height for a Category 2 approach. So that's less than 200 feet, but more than 100 feet. So in a nutshell, you're flying or you're about to land, and then you see the O go off. That's a good indicator that there's a glide slope there for you. And if you had your frequency tuned in, you could follow the glide slope down. Then the M goes off for the middle marker. That's a good indication to say, I'm about 200 feet. I should be able to see the runway. If I can't see the runway, I better do a go around. And again, the same for the inner marker, but I'm lower to the ground at between 100 and 200 feet. So now I'm at UUDD. Let's go ahead and land, and I'll call out these signs for you as we land. UUDD doesn't have an inner marker, just has an outer and a middle. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll land, and then I'll also show you on the X-Plane map how to tell if it's got marker beacons or not. So let's go ahead. beacon. There's our middle beacon. So we see the runway in sight, so we'll go ahead and proceed with our landing. we've landed, let me quickly show you on a map how to identify if your particular runway has marker beacons. 
So notice here these two round items here. I click on the first one, it shows OM for outer marker, and the second one for MM middle marker. If there was a inner marker, you would see an IM here as well, but this particular airport does not have one. So that is a brief tutorial on using marker beacons to help you safely land. Please subscribe to my channel, and if you happen to find an airport with all three marker beacons, because I've not found one yet, please mention it below in the comments because I would love to fly that and see all three lights go off. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.